Hi, welcome back to our full stack development with Angular and Spring MVC. My name is Bhushan. Let's go ahead and create Angular project. Before creating an Angular project, we need a couple of tools. Yes, in order to work with Angular, we need Node.js. To check whether the Node.js is installed on your machine or not, go to the command prompt and run a command node-v. If you see a number like this, then you are already installed Node.js on your machine. If you don't see a number like this and if you are command prompt prompting like the command is not available, then you need to install Node.js. In order to download Node.js, go to this website which is nodejs.org. The link will be given in the description section and go to the download section and download the latest version that compatible with your operating system. Once you download at the Node.js, just go ahead and install. The installation is pretty straightforward. Just double click on the program and click next, 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 and you are good to go. Once you install the Node.js, again go to the command prompt and run the same command. This time you will see this number. Again, if you don't see this number, again your command prompt is prompting like the command is not available, then something went wrong. Go ahead and uninstall the program and install it one more time. This time it will work for sure. Once you install the Node.js, the next thing we need to install a text editor. You can use any text editor you want. It's not compulsory to use text editor only. You can use IDE as well. If you are using a WebStorm or if you are using a PHP Storm, you can use that as well. But I'm very comfortable with Visual Studio Code. So throughout this section, I'm using Visual Studio Code. So once you installed your favorite text editor, the next thing we need to install Angular CLI globally on our machine. So in, to install Angular CLI, go to the Angular website. You can see the documentation, angular.io slash guide slash quick start. Here you can see the commands that you want to execute. So the first step, we need to install Angular CLI globally on our machine. To install Angular CLI, go to command prompt and type npm install minus g which indicates globally at angular slash cli and press enter this will install angular cli globally on your machine i'm not going to run this command because i have already installed cli on my machine so i'm not going to run this command once you execute this command this will take a few minutes to install the angular cli once you install the angular cli open your text editor in this case, I'm using a Visual Studio Code. If you're using any other text editors, that is fine. So if you're using a Visual Studio Code, then press Control tilde symbol, which is just below the escape key. This will open a built-in terminal in your Visual Studio Code. So right now I have created the project in, or I have created a folder in D drive, which is a YouTube recording. Inside this, we are going to create a Angular project. So the next step is we need to create a Angular project. So to create a new Angular project, type this command ng new and which is your project name. In this case, book API. And when you execute this command, this is going to download the Angular project or a skeleton for us. This will take for a while. Once you created the project, you can see that the folder has been created in your workspace. And next, let's go ahead and run our application. To run an Angular application, type ng serve minus minus open and press enter. This is going to open an application in a default web browser. All right, I'm outside of the project directory. So we are getting this exception or we are getting this error message. So what you need to do is you just have to go into the book API folder, cd book api and now we are inside the book api now execute the command ng serve minus minus open this is going to open in a default web browser
if the application is not open in your web browser you can go to the web browser and you can navigate to the local host 4200 you can see the welcome page of our application this is created by angular so now our application is up and running so in the next video we will start developing our book api that's it for this video thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next video